So Prettier is that great tool that makes our projects clean and tidy, either when saving a file on your code editor or like for each commit you run Prettier to make your code formatted and looks clean, or maybe on CI for testing and checking if the code is actually formatted the right way. But have you ever actually thought about Prettier and the performance issues around Prettier. So do you actually think that Prettier is fast enough? If you think Prettier is pretty performant and pretty good, well, the creator of Prettier actually doesn't think that and thinks the opposite about Prettier that's actually pretty slow. And in fact, he put actually a $10,000 bounty for somebody or some tool to claim and actually pass 95% of Prettier's test cases. There's been a huge debate about that and actually going forward, Glurmo, the you know CEO of Verson here, actually claimed and actually added another 10K to that. So he's like personally matching, he added another 10K, so it became like 20K. And eventually a couple of others added a couple of boxes to reach the 22.5K from different sponsors in here. And matter of fact, actually Al Gore created a specific web page for it for the bounty and for the prices and for actually submitting different solutions from different people. And that actually gave the community a lot of chances to actually win the prize. And they started competing by creating tools, thinking out of the box, trying to make prettier, faster. And so much actually happened during those days. But eventually, we have a winner. Technically, in the last week, Biom, if you just scroll a little bit down in here, so the solutions that were accepted is Biom.js, which is the new tool chain that is for linting and formatting that was written completely from scratch on Rust and it makes a huge difference when it comes to performance compared to Prettier. And yes, it passed the 95% test cases that were sent by Prettier. So throughout the years, we've all been using Prettier for actually formatting our JavaScript, JSON, TypeScript, React code throughout the years. And it's been great so far, it has so many features, so much support by the community and everything. It actually has one issue as any other JS tool, JS library, which is performance. So Biome was completely written on Rust to tackle that performance issues and actually have a lot of performance benefits compared to Prettier. And to see the actual Prettier case study in here, I'm going to go ahead and run a quick command in here, which can actually use Prettier to format and actually fix any formatting issues on the Webpack repository you see in here. We've got the Webpack repo, which is cloned from GitHub, the whole open source repository with everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to go ahead and look for any JavaScript files out of that repo and actually format it using Prettier. I'm going to see how fast it's going to do. So there you go. We're going to run the benchmark in here. Of course, I'm going to use Hyperform, which is a really cool tool for benchmarking. And it's going to run that a couple of times to get a median time. And there you go. So the mean time in here for actually using Prettier to format and actually fix any issues inside of the whole Webpack repository for all the JavaScript files inside of that one, it took around two seconds, which it might seem a little slow, but it actually is not. In the word of JavaScript and web development, anything more than one second is quite a lot. Well, on the other hand, if you look into Biome, Biome is an open source tool that allows you to do both formatting and linting, which means you're going to replace both prettier or like or a normal format that you can actually use. And it's going to replace something like ESLint, which is a linter with one single tool and Biome does them both. And the really nice thing and awesome part about Biome that I really, really love is actually it gives you everything it goes gives you both format and a linting with one tool without that much of configuration, you don't need to install like hundreds of packages to get ESLint working with TypeScript and stuff like that. Everything works out of the box, everything is easy to set up. And most importantly, it's not going to make you or make you insane to set up the tool and start actually formatting and linting your project. So if you get started in here, you're going to find the installation in here. Of course, you can go and install it using any package manager in here, NPM and everything. And the configuration itself, you can use the CLI is going to put biome.json, which is the main file that's going to hold all the configuration, both exclusive in here for linter and for the formatter as well. And for the usage, you simply just go ahead and do MPX, or you can just use yarn biome in here. You do biome format, you give me the files or the whole project, and you do it dash dash right to go ahead and fix any issues and write them to the files. The same thing goes for the linting in here. We just use lint, we give it the files, and it's going to give us a really nice colored and very straightforward output. 
or you can also use check in here, which most of the time is going to be used for the CI that's going to do formatting and linting files and is going to organize the import for you. And for all the VS Code lovers out there, Biome is available as a VS Code extension that's going to actually give you the all superpowers that you are used to have and get by using the prettier extension as well. So for example, I have my portfolio projects in here. And for example, let's say we're going to go ahead and migrate from prettier into Biome.js. So here, first thing, of course, you do to go ahead and install Biome.js in here, make sure to install the Biome locally and not globally because global is going to cause a lot of issues it's, you're going to have like version inconsistencies and a lot a lot of problems so make sure for every single project you install biome locally for each project inside of the node modules of each project in here the next thing you want to do is actually start the configuration so you can copy the configuration where yarn dlx biome js biome and you do init and this will go ahead and actually create for you this json file for the older configuration formatter of course you're going to use this for formatting as well and for the linter as well so all the rules all the configuration is going to be in one single place now to use the prettier vs code extension properly just go ahead and install the extension in here and of course for those of you who already use prettier in here you can just go ahead and disable prettier for me i'm going to just disable it for workspace because i'm not willing to disable it for everything a lot of projects are actually using prettier right now and after reloading in here you go back to any file in here for example you can do the command palette you choose format documents and it's going to prompt you that oh you don't have a default format as set up you can go ahead and put a one in here you can do a configure and you can go ahead from the top choose biome so you do biome js biome you click on that one and now you're just in here down here you can see biomes as our formatter so if you click this is actually going to use biome for example i can do indentation in here you can close and actually you're going to put everything for me in here as i need it uh for example you can just you know add that for example you can click on and save and the format is going to happen immediately so as simple as that you can just go ahead and set up biome and of course the configuration that's going to actually rely on and use is the configuration that you have in here inside of the biome json so for example i have like white line width in here to be 80 indent style wanted to be space for example for javascript i want to use the formatter for like the code style i want to use only single quotation and only want to use the trailing comma for es5 formatting and inside of the package of json in here i can go ahead and add a new one let do like for example example biome uh check for example in here and i can just go ahead and use biome and i can just go ahead and do check and make sure you choose the other you know, the four that you want to actually lint and format which for our case is the src and here after you run the check you're going to find all the issues for example it's telling you oh you can't use this function it uses typescript and it's going to do all the linting in the word for you and as you in here it gives you like oh we found 105 errors and we checked 149 files in 19 milliseconds all right so let's go ahead and actually benchmark biome versus prettier and another plugin called prettier parallel which actually uses multi-threaded prettier and actually runs them concurrently to get a faster formatting so here we have actually a file I actually cloned the whole biome.js repository from github which has a benchmark folder in here and actually has a really nice script in here that actually allows you to benchmark and customize it however you want so here exclusively you can like specify for the format or different repositories you can use whether you want to use like webpack repository in here for benchmark or not i have commented that code by the way and i've actually added specifically next.js in here because it's a very gigantic repository it has a lot of javascript on type code and especially for the packages in here it has a lot of packages like if you look at the repository in here it has a tremendous amount of packages in here inside of the packages folder with next next swc mdx so much so i'm gonna go ahead and actually benchmark all the two prettier and prettier parallel and biome js on the next js repository in here and see which one is actually faster now of course biome is actually claiming to be 25 faster than prettier 20 times faster than parallel prettier and like around two times faster than dprint and by the way for those of you who doesn't know about dprint dprint is another rust based format that is actually pretty basic compared to prettier but it's actually still pretty fast so simply in here i'm going to use node to actually run our script in here so of course in here is going to actually build volume from source and actually start as close in here it's actually benchmarking you know examples of like next.js and the next.js packages and everything and there you go we have the results so for biome in here finished like in five seconds and he finished whole next.js repository with all the packages that inside examples and benchmarks and everything so it's like in only five seconds in here this is like the mean time for biome 
and Biome actually ran five times faster than the Biome single-threaded because Biome, of course, it uses Rust, so it's like multi-threaded. But of course, we can actually go and use Biome single-threaded, which is going to mimic the same behavior as Prettier because Prettier uses Node.js and Node.js is single-threaded. So you got the point. So it's still like Biome normally, the multi-threaded version is like five times faster than single-threaded version. And it's like 563, which is in like too much of a difference between the single threaded and the parallel prettier in here which actually uses concurrent threads to run that one so that's actually pretty good but compared to prettier itself is actually like 10 times faster which is crazy compared to like you know we've got in here the whole next.js repository which is a huge repository now on the other hand in here we did actually go ahead and run the linter as well so i'd actually go ahead and benchmark biome linter with eslint to see how fast it is so for example when you say benchmark one eslint benchmark two biome in here and biome single threaded and in summary in here you can clearly see that biome run like 4.3 times faster than biome single threaded and seven times faster than normal ESLint. So still biome is beating both prettier and ESLint at every aspect, even single threaded. But hey, like for us, Prettier is actually taking an initiative to go ahead and speed up and make Prettier faster by actually hiring uh, Fabio, who's like an open source enthusiast about performance and everything. And he's actually doing some researches and he put this really nice blog post in here that explains how Prettier works, what are you know the, the approaches to actually make Prettier faster. So this is a really good initiative and I'm pretty sure Prettier is gonna become a lot faster in the near future. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. But anyway, guys, thank Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and catch you hopefully in the next ones.